So, right. so talk about what dating would look like for, you know, a guy who's maybe making just like a hundred thousand a year, you know, mm-hmm. and he wants, he's a high value man mm-hmm. in every aspect of it. He's mm-hmm. a good guy, but maybe he doesn't have the income to be, you yeah. know, giving $10,000 yeah, to a woman yeah. to, you know, invest in her business. Absolutely. So what does dating look like for like the average, a hundred thousand is not even the average person. Let's- wait, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. $10,000 for a woman. What? <laughs> so wait, y'all giving chicks ten thousand dollars? Where are they finding all of these people with all of this money? I'm just curious. Where are all of these people? All that, right, just to be giving away cash. It's just sitting at the finish line, is making a million dollars a year and sending y'all ten bands mm-hmm. for a bag. Cause I don't know where they are. I'm trying to find them. Um, I coach a lot of guys that make a lot of money, and they're not just giving out ten thousand dollars. On a whim. I, usually, I let the video play, and then we get into it after that, but they acting like 100 bands is normal. That's not normal. No, it's not. That's not normal. I don't know what y'all are looking at. The average person makes less than $50,000 a year. Like That's like, what, 60% of America or something like that? Yeah. It's right. right. Let's, yeah. let's keep it so real. let's yeah. let's keep it real for the average person who is mm-hmm. making fifty thousand dollars. That's mm-hmm. a good person. What does dating look like for them? So if you're making fifty thousand dollars, don't date. I'm I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not ready to date. And you're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park, but eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. This bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make $50,000, but you live in a shoe. And and now you got expendable cash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not saying you got to pay to play to be with a woman. I'm simply saying courtship costs. Right. It is not free it's to not. date. Mm. Like, some of us can't even take our homegirl out and be and it's free. That's true. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you peeling off a little check for shorty's mm-hmm. drink. So it's right. like, why do we expect anything else of women with a man? Like, fellas, if you're broke, don't date. You're not ready to date yet. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. That's what right. I was about to ask. Do if she think... doesn't want anything funny right. from you, if she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, or they a rich woman to take care of you. That's I'm, that's one of my goals. <laughs> now, I gotta take my ass to the gym though. Nobody want no fat man. Anyway, enjoy it while it lasts. Thumbs up, buddy, guys. Last, because eventually you're gonna want to run because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become in mm-hmm. order to thrive in this world. Right. She doesn't set expectations for you. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for three days. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Let's stop this right now. At what point did any man that became great needed a woman in order for him to be able to do so? At any at any point in history, the only time that I done seen a woman make a man a millionaire is when he used to be a billionaire. Shout out to Royce to find that. Whoa. Only time I keep dropping my house shoe. I don't know what's going on because I'm really, really Damn. confused as to what these women are saying. That's some bars. He said the only time I've seen a woman make a man a millionaire is when he was a billionaire. Damn, that's some deep shit. Damn. So the only time I see the woman make a man a millionaire is when he was a billionaire. Damn. What is going on as far as the expectations of black women all of a sudden just becoming sky high? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not one to call a kettle black, but let me just be very, very clear. I thought that they were the least married. I thought that they were the ones that least likely to get married. When all of these crazy expectations start jumping out of the woodwork as far as I knew because, you know, I do the Millionaire Morning Show, so I always base my stuff based off of facts and statistics. As far as I knew, I thought that the median household income was a household. This is with everybody that is in the household work was around or less than, on average in the United States of America, $75,000 a year. So why are everybody sitting around, riding around in the middle of the daytime, all of a sudden getting all of this money? And I'm not familiar with it. Uh-huh. Who who is who is running up the check? Because they're not getting it like that. People are struggling. But ain't nobody necessarily got no jobs or nobody. I know I still got a regular job. Mm-hmm. I know I listen. I know I still got a regular job. So I don't know 
where all of these women is getting all of these Chanel bags, they're getting 10 bands just to be able to date and go out and do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. Now all of them, they capping. All of them, they capping. They some capping ass hoes. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. All of a sudden, you don't have to work and you can just do whatever you want to do. And the man is, is broke when he got a job and he working. Listen, listen. <laughs> Divest yourselves. And then y'all want to sit here and get mad at a dude when he say that, oh, no, I'm going to become a passport, bro. It's hard for me to convince these dudes, hey, stay here in the United States of America. I'm not trying to convince these dudes to stay nowhere because if this is the options that they have to look at and this is the, the, the thing that they have to subject subject themselves to, what makes you think that this makes sense in any way, shape, or form? What I'm saying? And, and, is wild. You be cutting up. I'm you talk saying. about me. You be Dad, cutting I'm up. And they be looking crazy. They be looking insane. They be big. They be looking insane. And then they got the nerd to have this great requirement of you right. and telling you not to date if you making 50 bands a year. So it doesn't matter how well you manage your money. The only thing that matters is whether or not you can spend it on her. Yeah. Okay. Courtship. You gotta cut up poke. That's how um, look. You still got it. You gotta woo her, but then she'll fuck the broke nigga. <laughs> and you can jump through hoops and trying to make over fifty thousand dollars a year and be giving the pussy to a nigga that's unemployment. That's, that's unemployed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the thumbs up button. <laughs> they say they be tripping when they wear the same jeans for three days. They be working hard. Listen, I don't want that either. Like I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I've dated drug dealers in my past, and that's cute and everything. Of course, you have. You, you, you look. You can look at you and tell you, you. You didn't date them. They probably hit, but they. they I don't think they. That's what you call dating. I don't think they kept you, but they. You know. When you're in your 20s, not yeah, 35 years old. Right. I am not dating no damn drug dealer. Don't know mm -hmm. who's going to run up in my door. Don't know who's what's going to happen in the streets when we out together. You can't protect me. Look, they're telling on themselves. Yeah, I dated drug dealers in my past, a.k.a. I done been bust down by every single body, right. including the dudes that was trapping and out here in the streets. Right. And then now, because I'm older... I'm somehow, some way, more valuable than I was. I'm bigger. I'm older. <laughs> I'm slutted out. I'm right. for the streets. Mm -hmm. I got a messed up mindset. I talk like a sailor. Right. But yet, I have these high expectations of what men are supposed to do when they right. come over here into my head. Okay. It doesn't matter how much protection you have on you. Yeah. Right. You can't protect me if that's what you're doing and that's your motive and that's, that's how you get your money. Yeah. And let's be honest, I don't really know many rich drug dealers because they live that life. They're right. spending it. As fast yep. as it's coming, they're spending it. And so you might come up on a little a little come up in a man that's like, here, baby, here's 20 bands. And if you're smart with it, mm -hmm. you'll go do with it what you what you know you need to do. Right. But when you're with a hustler, you don't. Because the money's you're trying rolling to keep, in. You're yeah. trying to keep up with the Joneses. He, yeah. he take you out. His homies all got girls in Chanel and, and Balenciagas and whatever. Man, you can't get $20. You can't get twenty dollars unless we figuring out unless you work for me or unless somehow some way you add value in which you you somehow we get money together or I can leverage whatever it is that we got going on and then continue to run it up. You can't get twenty dollars, let alone twenty bands out of right. it, bro. Not even a little bit. You're not that valuable. You ain't. It ain't a woman in the world. That is valuable enough to get money out of me that's not adding value into my life. Right. You're like, no damn, sense. I need to go get that. And so you go take your little money and you go shopping to make your little boomerang. Mm -hmm. And now your bank account is suffering until he gives you another chunk. Right. You don't know how long that's going to be, how long that's going to last. That's true. So realistically, you just have to be wise with who you date because as a man you can easily slip into a situation with a woman that keeps you stagnant and at the bottom mm. if you get with a woman that's moving and she's got what i say now motion yeah, yeah motion. A little motion. <laughs> i got motion i got a little seasoning i'm a little, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little aged okay like like fine wine but but yeah when you got a little like milk <laughs> motion and you're in action Right, you can elevate a man easily. One that one. Like, I don't know. Like she got a red ring on her face. I'm trying to see. Look like she somebody 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 wiped her up. Look like she got a. Uh, look like is that the engagement? Is that the wedding ring finger? I don't know which one it is, but I'm thinking it's on the right hand. Or is it the left hand or right hand? I don't know. But somebody look like somebody might already wiped this one up, Anton. Wants to be right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you're making 50k oh, and you're looking for one of these. 
You're not getting that. You're not getting that. I don't know what else to say. I don't know how we put this together. I don't know what is happening out here in these streets, man. Y'all right. Y'all right. Listen, I'm going to continue to do the work, but I, I do have to bring myself to the front of the congregation and say, y'all right. It's bad. It's very, very, very bad out here. Um, if you can, hold on for dear life. <laughs> Real talk. Hold on for dear life. It ain't nothing out here for you. Uh, average household income, I just looked it up, is under $75,000 a year. Uh, and that's what everybody working, but they want you one of these, one of them. I'm curious as to what you guys are going to say inside of the comments. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, we got... Uh, <laughs> we got after hours popping tonight. Uh, I, for some reason, I think that it's going to be an incredible show. I'm thinking it's going to be an incredible show. What y'all think? We got after hours tonight. It's she said, "If you want, if you want, if you want all this, and you, and you can tell she got kids. If she ain't got no kids, I would be shocked." Yeah, I'm, I want to read Anton's comments too. I bet they're tripping in the comments. If you want her, you got to make over fifty thousand dollars a year. Wow. Oh, uh, Consuela is tripping. Man. <laughs> anyway, y'all, this is from Anton Daniels' YouTube channel. Check out his YouTube channel whenever y'all get a chance. Subscribe to his channel. I know I just did. And hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe to my channel, Charles Arnesboro. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, check out my Rick Ross documentary I did, too, guys. It's on my YouTube channel. It's pretty dope. Hit that thumbs up button. Appreciate it. 